Hey everybody, I'm back to creating content again on my YouTube channel and I'm very excited to be serving you again. In this video, I'm going to share how I overcame some of life's curveballs over the last few years and to tell you about what's next. And for some of you that are struggling, there might be a few good life lessons in my story. I'm still committed to my YouTube channel even though I pretty much disappeared for the last 19 months. I stopped regular uploading at the end of April 2019. That's 19 months ago. Up to that time, over two years and 10 months, I produced over 150 videos with a near weekly upload consistency. So what happened? Why did I disappear from YouTube? I had a few major life curveballs that hit me over the last few years that led to my YouTube timeout, among other changes for the better. In June 2018, I had an emergency brain surgery that saved my life. The injury I had was because of a past physical trauma, a car accident, that had long-term symptoms that got progressively worse. Ironically, I was still producing video all through my recovery, and I didn't miss a beat. This surgery helped me permanently get rid of my migraine headaches, and most importantly, get my energy back and restore my ability to focus without the fatigue and apathy I had before. This life-death scare got me to thinking a lot about life and what I could do to change things up for the better. When you have a near-death shock, it's normal to be thinking about how you've been living and what you might change for the better. Now, let's fast forward to April 2019, nine months later, when the next curveball was thrown at me, a diagnosis of a tumor in my eye with a recommendation to radiate or remove my eyeball to solve the problem. If I went forward with that surgery, I would gradually have deteriorating central vision. Can you imagine being faced with those options when you treasure your eyesight and what you do for a living depends on it? So, with the fear of cancer and metastasizing risks ringing in my head, this diagnosis sure got me to hit the skids and take a real time out to evaluate how to move forward in life. Fortunately, as a result of my first curveball, I already started to explore some changes. One change was to consider moving away from the city to a more affordable place in the country, enjoy being surrounded by a lot more nature, something I've always wanted to do. I believe that this kind of environmental lifestyle change would help bring stress levels down for little old me. In my time out, I decided to put on hold the efforts to build my video editing services business to a full-time level, and I stopped producing content for YouTube. It was a time to chill and heal for me. Yes, I did have a concern about not publishing content and the consequences for my channel's potential lack of growth performance. I also thought about what would other people think? Did he burn out and just quit? I also thought about all the hard work I put into publishing weekly for over 150 videos to help build my authority online. Will that effort have been a waste? I had to let go of all worries and any judgment fears 100% and let the chips fall where they may as the burden of any mental baggage wasn't serving me in my current state of health. I then reminded myself that I'm on YouTube to serve and I own setting my goals and making progress, not others. And in the process, I grow my video coaching, consulting and editing services business along the way. I'm not on YouTube to let the stats validate who I am. The stats are just external numbers that I don't have much control over what happens once I publish something. I decided that I would return to YouTube when my passion for creating and serving returned and I was in a much better state of health. During my time off, I did a lot of research, had many health consultations, and experimented with various treatment options. I'm happy to say that I found some tremendous non-allopathic treatment solutions for my health issues, and they're working well so far. 
no eyesight threatening operation required. My healthcare regimen takes one to two hours per day, but I'm coming back nicely. With a working health solution in place, and in theory, overcoming the cancer threat for now, I was also taking on more positive change in my life. I downsized by moving from the city to the country where I would be closer to nature. I started daily walking and hiking. I even joined a hiking group. But after the Devil's Glen mountain trek, I realized I needed to get in better shape to tackle some of the more aggressive hikes. I joined the local digital creator space and took a whole series of filmmaking classes to enrich my scripting, storyboarding, pre-production, planning, shooting and post-production skills. I even learned how to video et, edit with DaVinci Resolve and shoot with the Blackmagic Cinema 4K camera. I also created two small documentary films and helped as a crew member and producer in a few more short films with the filmmaking school group. I even signed up for some painting classes to see how I can settle and focus on another type of creating. As my health improved and I gained more strength, and a better attitude. I wanted to push forward with my business and get back on YouTube to serve again. As part of my comeback and desire to build my business, I applied for a grant in a local small business competition in town. I was fortunate enough to be selected as a grant winner and get the business coaching that goes with it. I entered the program in May and it's helped me immensely. I got quite busy with clients during the pandemic just from the leads I generate via YouTube. Aside from coaching people on video for their business, I've also produced over 30 client videos. Again, I'm grateful for such a great start back into my business full time. And last but not least, I've started my YouTube channel video creating and publishing again, but it's a little different this time. Although I would like to publish consistently to benefit from the growth and momentum potential, I'm balancing what I produce with my health and business as my two top priorities. If it works out that I can make a weekly video publishing schedule, then great. Otherwise, the calendar won't own me and I'll publish as often as I can. 2020 on YouTube, statistically, was a pretty good year for my channel, despite only publishing three videos. First, I just passed the 9,000 subscribers milestone for which I am truly grateful to all those who support me. My year over year growth in both subscribers and watch time was a healthy 27 plus percent and 41 plus percent respectively. The most exciting part is that this performance level was achieved while only producing three videos the entire year, a drop of 84 plus percent in uploads with two of them in the last few weeks as part of my comeback. In my opinion, this performance shows that most of my videos are quality evergreen tutorials. That aspect, combined with some good authority built up from consistently publishing over 150 videos on YouTube in my video niche, has helped my channel continue its growth even with my publishing hiatus. I plan to evolve quite a bit in what content I serve to YouTube, and to that end, I would greatly appreciate your help to take my short survey by clicking on the link in the video description below. To date, I've never surveyed my YouTube community, and so this is a great opportunity for you to speak up and help me to understand what content you would like me to create for you in 2021. Again, press the link for the survey in the video description below. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to creating some great content in 2021 and serving you the best I can. See you in another video soon. I'm back.